What's up everybody, David Causer here from World Travel Hacks and I have a food review dish for you. Um, I just recently came back from Ecuador and one of the unique items that you can get in Ecuador is cuy. And you can get this item there, you can get it in Peru and also parts of Bolivia, but it's mostly popular in Ecuador and Peru. And if you don't know what the cuy is, it is guinea pig. So I'm gonna try it, see how it is. I've been wanting to try this dish for a very long time and it's my first time, so let's see. Okay, so if you don't know what a guinea pig is, it's this little small animal that's like about this size and it looks kind of like a rabbit. It just sort of walks around. Um, they're white or white and black or brown and they can have spots and you know, they're pets in North America and Europe. Um, and, and South America, uh, but it can also be your dinner, you know, if you're in Ecuador or Peru. So I'm going to try the dish. Um, it is a rodent. Um, it's, it's apparently is pretty lean and has a lot of protein, so it's really healthy to eat. And it is maybe a delicacy and from the Andes Mountains area. It's something that is traditionally eaten um, by the indigenous people and today still is a popular dish by everyone in Ecuador. Um, and sometimes it's served maybe as a special occasion at weddings or on Sundays um, or just an everyday item. Now, not everyone in Ecuador and in Peru loves to eat this. Some people don't like them, um, but it is popular and you can find it pretty much anywhere. So um, I'm gonna try it, see how it is. All right, so before we get any farther, if you are a vegetarian or maybe you have a pet guinea pig or you love little, small, cute animals, all right, this is not the video for you. All right, so go ahead and skip to the next one. Make sure you do check out my video about one of the best fine dining restaurants in Quito. Um, but anyways, again, vegetarians, go ahead, go to the next one. All right, if you're still here, I think you are wondering, hey, how is this guinea pig? What does it taste like? Would you order it again? Should I go and find one and order this on my next trip to Ecuador? So I've got all those answers for you coming up right now. All right, welcome back to World Travel Hacks. Again, this video is about the koi guinea pig meal in Ecuador. Um, very exciting to show you this video. I'll let you know what I think. I personally ordered this and got this at the middle of the earth monument in Quito. Hello, check. All right, everybody, I'm at the restaurant getting ready to have some food. Typical Ecuador lunch. This is what you eat for lunch every day, right? Gabriella's so excited. <laughs> I can tell. No. So I'm only going to eat like a little bite of the guinea pig. I'll tell you how it is. Come for yourself. So come in. Ask for the guinea pigs. Chicha, fermented corn juice. Where's your chicha? No, I don't like it. You don't like it? No, oh. I don't like it. So the Ecuadorian people do not like this, but <laughs> chicha, fermented corn juice. Cheers, guys. One other item that I did try was chicha, which is this drink that is a fermented corn-based drink, and it's served cold. Um, I haven't seen it in a lot of places, so if that is on the menu where you are in Ecuador, I would definitely order one. I did really like it, so um, try that out as well. Oh my goodness. Look at the guinea pig. All right, all right. I hope you can see cooked guinea pig. Let's move this out of the way. Put that right there. All right. There we go, guys. This is the lunch. This is the guinea pig. Oh, sorry. It's okay. First, first, we're going to have the chicha. This is less scary than the guinea pig. Are you going to eat? No. You have to eat like no. at least a bite. No. Yes. No. You have to try. I, I, I just tried it. It's no. like, okay, so the guinea pig is like a pancake. They like flattened them out. And I mean, look at that. So 
If you have like a pet guinea pig, you do not need to watch the video anymore. I'm sorry. All right, first trying this. All right, this tastes like, tastes like a, a sour juice or something. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, there's, is there alcohol in it? There's no alcohol in it. No. It's just a shot of corn juice, all right? Corn juice. Traditional from indigenous people. All right. So next, we're going to eat Mr. Guinea Pig. All right, so what part do we eat? I'm only eating like one bite. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna tell you how good it is, how bad it is. But I think we need a drink. Can I have a drink? Yes, yes. Yeah, let's get a drink uh, first. Okay, beer. Beer, beer, yeah, yes, light yes, cerveza. Okay. Excuse me? Cerveza, is that what you say? Yes, beer. Cerveza, ah, cerveza Pilsner. 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 Oh, 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 Picanha. Two, two, okay. Dos cervezas, por favor. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if you're getting guinea pig, you may need something a little stronger than beer. I'm just being honest. But that's why I'm here. David Causer trying the guinea pig for you so you will know how yummy it is. I can't, I can't think why you'd want to eat this. I mean. There's some potatoes and some other foods, Malti. which... Malti. What is it? Malti. Malti? Mm -hmm. We'll try that as well. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> I'm waiting for the drink. Oh, okay. you're yeah. waiting for the drink. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not stalling. I really am going to eat this guinea pig. Uh -huh. You eat the first bite, tell me how it is, no. and then I'll try. No. Yeah? No. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> What part do you eat? I think this one, everything. Every, everything. everything. Okay, everything. so guinea pig, you can eat the whole thing. Uh, you want uh, you want she to cut this to Sh Come here. Show me where I. What part do I eat? What is the best part of the guinea pig? Todo. 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 Okay. All right. It's okay. We're just gonna. Don't eat the head. Okay. The head now. We're gonna eat right there. Yes. Okay. All right. Gracias. No. Okay. In the outside. All right. So looks a little crunchy on the outside. What the heck? So very crunchy. <laughs> All right. Give me just a minute. All right, I'm back. Had to change the battery. Got our little guinea pig here. Gonna try it. I had to get the server to cut it up for me because like, I don't know the proper technique for cutting up your guinea pig. But you do it just like that. You cut it into six little parts. All right, gonna try this part, part. Part number three. Come on. Un momento. All right, there we go. There's your guinea pig. Should I use the sauce? Is that for yes. guinea pig? Yeah. There's also this little sauce. I'm gonna try. Chili sauce? Yes. Try it just a little bit. A little bit. Maybe it's a spicy. All right. It's going in the mouth. Gonna eat it. I'm gonna swallow it. We'll see how it is. Mm -hmm. Like chicken, maybe? Mm -hmm. Like pig? All right. It's not like, it's not terrible, okay? <laughs> I don't like it, all right, but you can eat it. It's kind of like chicken, a little bit like something else. This, this sauce, if you're scared to eat it like me, I'm super scared, this looks kind of crazy. You can put a lot of sauce on it, but it just tastes sort of like a 
sort of chickenish. Yes, chicken. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, you have to try. No. Yeah, no, yeah. No, we no, bought no, one no, guinea pig. No, you have to no. eat one bite. Yes. I have a vegetarian. I can't. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm allergic to red meat. Like I could have a reaction to this. I ate a bite. You have no. to eat one bite. One no. little bite. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I I help with it. That's that's an avocado. That's not part of the guinea pig. No, I can't. I really can't. I mean, I have 15 years, no, 20 years that I don't. All right, no, no guinea pig for you. So, uh, my review is, it's okay. I mean, like, I probably will not order this again. But um, when in Quito, try the guinea pig. It's um, it's neat how they cook it and everything. Um, maybe if I lived in the mountains and I didn't have any other food, I might catch a guinea pig and eat it. But it's not that bad, all right? I give it like maybe, maybe a two out of a 10, maybe three out of 10. Yes, yes. It's good? All right, that's it. Like, like this corn juice, okay? This corn juice is better than guinea pig, all right? <laughs> that's it. Again, David Causer here at World Travel Hacks. Check out my channel. I'm gonna show you some other things later today. And that's, uh, we'll have some other food, some better food. I'm telling you, Ecuador has amazing food. Okay, Moros, they're very good. They have really good uh, chocolate, as I said earlier. Coffee, pretty good. Yeah. Guinea pigs, not so great, but everything else is excellent, all right? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm moving on to these. If you do come here, these potato things are actually really, really, really good. What is this called? Um, potatoes. Potatoes, but it's like it's like a. Let me see. Uh, it's I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like mashed potato, but. Perdón. Oh, jambingachos. It's like those long potatoes. Con papas, no? It's potato. It's potato. Okay. All right. So the potatoes are excellent. Like they're like nine out of ten. So, if you don't finish your guinea pig, if you're still hungry, you get some potatoes afterwards. And this is rice? Mm -mm. What is this? Malty. Malty? Malty. 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 What is malty? Huh? It's like... It's like... It's like... It's corn. It's corn? It's corn cooked, cooked, cooked in another way. Mmm. Malty. Yes. Malty. All right. This is a malty. Check that out right there. It's like I thought it was rice because it's white. Mm -mm. But it is corn, mm -hmm. like a white corn. It's cooked. It's um. It's a different. It's different, yeah. Potatoes are the best. All right. So if you guys do come visit here, there's a lot of souvenir shops all over the place. Spend some money. These guys do a great job. And we'll go to our next spot. Okay. All right, so that's the video. Um, I do recommend trying this dish um, if you are into unique foods that you can't get anywhere else. I typically, when I'm traveling somewhere, I've, if there's something on the menu that you can only get it there, I always like to try it at least once. Um, you know, if you're in Ecuador and you're only there one day, I mean, there's a lot of really amazing Ecuador foods that I would try first. But if you're there and you want to try the guinea pig, go for it. Um, my rating, David's rating, out of five stars, I'm going to give it probably, mm, I'm, I'm going to give it like one and a half stars, okay? So more than one star, less than two stars. Um, because it's unique, all right? You can't get it many other places. Uh, the one that I got, I don't think was really cooked that well, so um, probably don't get it at a touristy location, but if you get it at a nice restaurant, or you know somebody that knows how to make it, or you see it on the street and they're cooking them on a barbecue, outside grill type thing, um, that's probably the best spot to get them, and it's probably, uh, a lot better than the one I tried. And again, I only had one tiny bite um, because of my uh, health condition. I can't eat red meat. So um, anyways, let me know what you think. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. And if you are interested, I do have a video about one of the best fine dining restaurants in Quito, Casa Gangatina. And I'll put a link to that in the video. Um, so if you're wanting more of that fine dining, great restaurant experience, that video is right below.
No, it's not like chicken at all. I mean, think about catching a big huge. You don't want to like go see them and like pick one up and like pet it and all that and then go eat afterwards. Like eat the meal first and then go see them, see where they are. And is this the size of guinea pig? I think so. Like a little guinea pig, medium sized guinea pig. This is a good size. 